1200 off an old dirt road and the country boy is all I'll ever be. What's going on everybody? We're back with another video here in our inch bag series. And in this video I want to cover containers that I would carry. This is more of a personal scout type kit I guess you'd call it. Uh, I've got a couple different water bottles here. I wouldn't necessarily carry all three of these water bottles. I would probably carry two out of the three. I'm trying to keep this to where I can keep it all in a pack and carry it on my back. So that's why I've chosen these particular items. You know, if I was preparing a kit for my family, uh, I would have something a lot larger. Larger cook set, obviously. Uh, larger water containers. Stuff like that. Also in this video, I'm not going to include water purification and treatment. Stuff like that. This is strictly just containers. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so the first water bottle I have here, and this is one that I would definitely carry. Uh, this is my go-to. This is actually a newer one. I haven't used this one very much. Only two or three times, as you can tell. Uh, this is a Pathfinder water bottle, and this is the 32-ounce water bottle with the nesting cup. Uh, the nesting cup does have the handles on the either side, and it also has, which I like, on the inside here. I don't know if that'll pick up or not, but... It's got different measuring increments there, all the way up to 700 milliliters or 25 ounces. Uh, it also does have the holes on either side to include a bale, if you have that, or a toggle to pull this in and out of the fire, stuff like that. This is good for boiling water. Uh, it's great for cooking individual soups, uh, stews, stuff like that. As far as the water bottle goes, it's got the plastic lid. It's got the wide mouth design on it here. Uh, like I said, it's 32 ounces. And on the bottom here, I just have a small little camp stove. And this actually came off of a, a Swiss gel fuel stove that I got off cheaper than dirt. And this is just a real thin, uh, probably aluminum, something like that. And it actually works perfect, especially for my cup. You know, once I get a good bed of coals going, I'll set that down in the coals. And I'll set my cup up on top of that just like that to elevate my cup, get some airflow underneath it, and get it to cook a little faster. I have here and I've shown this in uh, past videos this is just a US military uh, canteen with the US military sleeve on the outside and this does have the nesting cup with it it's the steel canteen and the cup uh, obviously you can boil water in either one of these it's pretty much the same thing as my Pathfinder bottle uh, I wouldn't necessarily carry either way which one I had to carry the, the bottle does carry more water uh, and the cups, it's, it's just the same thing. There's not a whole lot of difference to it. It's just a preference of what I would want to carry. And I, I usually pick between one of these. I wouldn't carry both of them. I don't have much reason to. Uh, and that, that's where we get into this next bottle I have here. But this is a good high quality bottle, obviously. Military issue. Uh, it won't fail you. It's got the cork stopper in the lid here. You got the chain on the lid so you don't lose the lid. That's one thing that the bottle doesn't have. The only downside to this is the cork on the inside of the lid here that can dry out deteriorate after a while so you want to watch out for that and the last bottle I have and I would usually carry this uh, with one of the steel bottles or one of the metal containers this is a uh, German I think this is called the rain camo and this is just a cheap probably knockoff military bottle this isn't even real leather here but this bottle kind of holds up special meaning to me this is probably the very first piece of gear that I ever got when I started getting into survival and bushcraft and prepping stuff like that uh, I've had this well over 10 years probably more like 15 years and you can see it's got the little belt latch here and it actually threads through the tin cup on the top which is cool it's got the small tin cup with the handles uh, I use it all the time I use this bottle probably more than the other ones to be honest with you and real handy real small what i like about it is when i'm out on a day scout or a deer hunt or something like that and i'm trying to travel light uh be, based on how thin this is it comes in handy i can fit it down in a haversack or in a backpack uh, without any issue it is plastic you can see it's got the plastic lid and there's a plastic bottle it will come out of that sleeve if you want it to but there's not much sense in taking it out of there lastly we'll go ahead and get into our little cook sets here and I call this a cook set. This is just as simple as a small pot. I cook this up at a 
estate sale. I think I paid 50 cents for this. It is the enamel, uh, I guess it's ceramic on the inside here with the metal on the outside. I did paint it and in the handle here you can see what I just pulled out there is I just have our utensils that we actually just got the other day for our weekly loadout. And I went ahead and took the knife off of this set. This is just the fork and the spoon and I just have them taped together there which you know that duct tape's multi-purpose too and we won't get into that too much but for for starting fire for tender stuff like that a lot of people don't know that duct tape's really good for that so in a inch situation i would probably carry both of these because again they don't take up much weight so and lastly for my main cook set which this is the same cook set that i would carry in my bushcraft kit uh, this is the same cook set that i would carry in my camping gear uh, but it also, because it's so multifunctional, I would also carry it a long-term bug out situation. This would be the one that I would go for. What this is, this is just a Boy Scouts of America uh, cook set. I've had this one a long, long time and it's never done me wrong. And if you're not familiar with these, it's just got that uh, wing nut on the bottom here. Loosen that up a little bit and you can move your handle over to the side. And then I usually just tighten that right back down. One downside to these is the handle. Uh, they will bend pretty easy if you've got a lot of weight in the pan, but as long as you're not carrying a ton of weight in it when you're cooking with it, it's not that big of a deal. It's got the plate right on top there. And inside it's got the pan and another plate. And then it's got the bush pot on the inside. I just got it closed here just with some Gorilla Tape. And I actually in here, I'll open it up, but I don't want to get into it too much. In here I do carry uh, I've got a water treatment, the uh, Coleman uh, two-part water treatment in here. I won't even open that because I don't want to get into that too much. I've got a fire starter in there. I've got an extra brand new Bic lighter in there. And in the bottom I also have the utility flame a uh, gel stove. But I carry that just in case. You know, you never know if you're trying to go without starting a fire. This will cook a meal for you, no problem. And that just stuffs down the bottom of my bush pot uh, when I'm not using it, along with the rest of the stuff. And the fire starter and the and the uh, big lighter, that's just redundancies. This isn't my fire kit, obviously. Usually I'll have a small folding knife in here as well. All right, guys, so that's it for our uh, container portion of our inch bag, uh, our inch bug out bag. And that's just a, a look at what I would carry. But in the event that I had to grab a bag, that'd probably be what would be in it. I appreciate you guys joining us today for the container video for the inch bag bug out series. Uh, the next one we're going to do is fire. Like I said, I want to do another uh, fire video specifically for this series. And from there, we'll most likely move on to shelter or food. I'm not sure yet. Uh, or maybe we'll do both at the same time. I don't know. So thank you for joining me. I appreciate you watching.